Hi guys and welcome to the channel, the channel that is best for business. Never give up, hustle, loyalty, your respect. Well, it's the big show. No, this is the number one channel, the most electrifying channel. You know it, it is simply put... The People's WWE Champion Channel. And I am trailblazing, I'm a raising, lean the smack down on all the candy asses, eat, drink, be murray, lay the smack down on the jabroni elf. Cause Santa Claus is coming to town, we wish you a merry Christmas, on the Rick, cause I am Rick the Rock, and Rick the Rock says, we're on the countdown to Christmas, and this is the entertaining the electrifying WWE pay-per-view review so this is the WWE TLC tables ladders and chairs review So I'll run through the matches at TLC, tables, leather and chairs, give my thoughts and opinions. So there was a match on the kickoff show, it was a Divas match, excuse me, it was Sasha Banks versus Becky Lynch. Coming in at the win, Sasha Banks, so going for Sasha here, it looks like WB are really pushing Sasha and Team Bad. First match of the night was a ladder match for the WWE Tag Team Titles, a triple threat ladder match. It was the New Day versus the Usos versus Lucha Dragons. This was a really good match to open up TLC. Some re some great high spots. Uh, Kalisto with the Salita Del Sol, I think that's what he's called. Um, from the top of the ladder on one of the Usos, through another ladder. This was a great spot here, but coming out of the wing and still your WB Tag Team Champions, the New Day. So I guess going for them, but I did want the, Uso, the, the Lucha Dragons to win. The next match was a singles match. It was the big guy Ryback versus the Bulgarian brute Rusev. Not much to be said here, but coming out of the wing, Rusev. So yes, we're going for Rusev there. Um, but is Lana now going to get involved in all of his matches and cost his opponent the win. The next match was a tables match. An, eliminate, an elimination table match. It was the Wyatt family, so Bray Wyatt, Braun Strowman, Luke Harper and Eric Rowan versus Bubba Ray and Devon, the Dudley Boys, the Innovator of Violence, Tommy Dreamer and the War Machine, the Man Beast, Rhino. So this was a fresh match. Um, this was a really good match. At one point, you thought it was going to be a flaming table. Um, Bubba Ray put gasoline what, on a table and they were delighted. But unfortunately, Braun Strowman put Bubba Ray through a table and coming to the win, the White family. So much needed for, win for the White family here and much needed pay per view win for them. It was then a chairs match for the United States Championship. It was. The, re the real American Jack Swagger versus Alberto Del Rio. This was a decent match. But coming out with the win and still your US champion Alberto Del Rio. It was then for the Divas Championship Charlotte versus former Divas Champion Paige. This was a decent match. Ric Flair was by ringside and Ric Flair did take the padding off the, the middle turnbuckle. Was it the bottom turnbuckle? One of the turnbuckles. And Charlotte rammed Paige's head into the turnbuckle and pinned her one, two, three and got the win. 
So still you're becoming Charlotte. I suppose they're going for Charlotte here. Then it looks like they're building to Charlotte versus Becky Lynch. For the TV title later down the line. Hopefully this has happened at the Royal Rumble rather than being on Raw as back then and it gets a proper build. It was then for the Intercontinental Championship. KO, Kevin Owens versus the Lunatic Fringe, Dean Ambrose. Come out of the win and your brand new Intercontinental Champion, Dean Ambrose. So obviously a big win for Ambrose here. Um... It was quite, quite a big shock. Not much else to be said there. And your main event was a TLC tables, ladders and chairs match for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. It was the Celtic Warrior Sheamus versus the powerhouse Roman Reigns. This was actually a really, really good match. Um, it, both guys basically were battering each other. Sheamus was cuts and bruises all over his body. Same with Roman Reigns. Um, both men just didn't give up. Roman Reigns just wouldn't give up. But come out to win and still your WB World Lightweight Champion, Sheamus. And then after the match, Roman Reigns did beat Sheamus up with a steel chair. Um, and then out came Triple H. Reigns beat up Triple H put him through the announcer table and speared him. So this was a really good way to end an event, a really, really good event. I give it six Brahma Bulls out of 10. Um, what, so what match is now gonna happen at WrestleMania? Is it gonna be Triple H versus Roman Reigns or Triple H versus The Rock? Um, WB could really screw, kind of now screw with The Rock's family. We could have Roman Reigns earn his spot in the Royal Rumble week after week after week on Raw and SmackDown. They could screw with the Usos, they could screw with Tamina, they could even screw with Naomi. This is all the Rock's family. Um, or it could be Roman Reigns versus Triple H at WrestleMania. Like I said, a really, really good event. Really good way to end 2015. Um, so what are your thoughts? What did you like and not like about TLC? Let me know in the comments below. As always, you know what to do. Lay a subscribe down on that like button. Subscribe, share, tell all your friends about Rick the Rock. If you'd like to send me a Christmas card or any fan mail, then follow me on Twitter, Rick the Rock Pay. Add me on Facebook, Richard J Pay. And go and like my Facebook page, the People's WB page, Team Bring It. But for now, if you smell, the Rock.